what's up guys we're here and today we're looking at the monk we're going to show you what weapons to upgrade and how to spend your blood shards at the start of season 27 for the monk if you're going to play it so let's hop right into it as always guys i cannot preface this enough at the start of the brand new season you're going to get the challenge rift and you're going to be able to do it make sure you do it right after the season starts don't do it prior to do it when the season starts and then you're gonna get all these rewards that i'm putting up on screen now you're gonna use all of these mats again guys to level up your level 70 weapon to upgrade it into a legendary and then you're gonna extract the power into the cube and then you got the blood shards to spend on gambling for items to give you a super super fast start at the start of season 27 so let's get right into the monk guys so the monk Although the Monk is going to be the best class for pushing with LOD Wave of Light, and then Innes is still okay for like speed farming or doing T16s, but Wave of Light is going to be the best build in Season 27. So we're going to talk about some items that kind of help you get to 70 quick if you're going to start off with the Monk and what to keep, okay? So the only issue with the Monk is, is it doesn't have the best start when it comes to weapons and gear. Because there's just, again, it's kind of like the Crusader in some ways. There's just a lot of options. So, for example, the weapon we're going to start off upgrading for your rare weapon to upgrade is going to be a Diablo. Don't do a staff. Do a Diablo. The only issue here is that we have four good options, but there's eight total staffs that you can roll for. So, you know, you're already at a 50% chance to get one of these four staffs. And then any of them are good, but it's just a four out of eight chance. So, hopefully, you guys get one of the good ones. If not, that's okay. You know, you're just going to have to grind with some of the gambling powers. But let's take a look at the Diablos and what you want to get. So you have the Intense Incense Torch of the Grand Temple, Balance, Flow of Eternity, and then Flying Dragon. All of these are great staffs. My personal preference if I was going to play the Monk is I would hope that I roll for the Incense Torch um, or Balance. Like both of these are really good damage buffs. So this one reduces the cost of Wave of Light by 50% and increases the damage by 530% or up to 550. This is great. This is going to help you build into wave of light later or LOD wave of light later. So the incense torch would be the one that you would really want to get. Next, we have balance. Very good. Increases the damage of Tempest Rush. And then when you hit, you know, three or few enemies, you're going to get 100% critical hit chance, which is fantastic. You kind of just move around. This is actually a little bit more of a speed uh, rush than just way or uh, wave of light but balance very very good next is the flow of eternity guys you increase the damage of seven sided strike uh, by 100 percent and reduce the cooldown by up to 50 or 60 percent which is fantastic i know it's just a basic attack but when you look at here you have you know wait what is it a wave of 100 fists yeah wait or seven sided strike i'm sorry so you have seven sided strike you get it relatively easy i believe 17 pretty early you know it won't take you very long to level up there and then with the other two you have a uh, wave of light at 12 and then tempest rush at five so tempest rush would be the one that you would want to get the earliest but still okay even if you get this one for seven sided strike still very strong last is flying dragon the reason i put this one last out of the four is because all it does is double your attack speed this can be good and it will help you clear things faster but if you get the flying dragon you're definitely going to want to get like one of these like probably the river revere dancers just for you know lashing tail kick so that way you just double and hit things a whole lot faster but those are going to be your four staffs guys that you're going to want to be looking for okay it's four out of eight stat or diablos that you can roll for so fingers crossed on the rg for that now let's get into gambling a lot of options here guys a lot of options to pick from the first and foremost you want to go for is bracers you have three different ones you can get Caesar's Memento, which is going to increase the damage uh, from Tempest Rush after you blind, stun, or freeze them. Gundo Gear, Exploding Palm on Death Explosion applies an additional one for with increased damage. And then Pinto's Pride, Wave of Light, slows and also deals increased damage. So if I had to put these in order, I would want Pinto's Pride, Caesar's Memento, and then Gundo Gear. Pinto's Pride, along with the Incense Torch, you are going to be annihilating all the way to 70. Okay. Now, Caesar Memento is fine with uh, balance. It's just you have to blind them, which kind of is a pain, but it will help you. So, and then Gundo Gear is good if you actually happen to roll it, but you know, it's not the best. But if you get it, just use it. Okay, the last two items are going to be boots, guys. And there's two different ways to go about it. You got the, the dancers, the river dancers, and then you have the crudest boots. The crudest boots by far is the better option because as soon as you get uh as soon as you get your mystic ally at 22, they just annihilate. 
okay? The increased damage and then having two fight for you, you can literally just cruise through. But if you get the River Dancers, it's fine. Lashing Kick is still pretty good. It'll help you deal some additional damage. Not the best, but it will help. So those are the items that I would upgrade for the Monk and then roll for for gambling with Kadala. Again, there's a lot of options. So, you know, spend your Blood Shards wisely and then hopefully you guys get a good roll on your staff. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys, with the Monk for Season 27 at the best start. After this video, we're going to show up an entire video of how to level up and do these things the best way to do it. So be look out for that video. That'll be coming up next. And then if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. All the love you guys have been giving me has been fantastic. The Diablo community is the best. I've been playing this game for so long, I should have started making content way, way before that. But thank you guys again for all the love. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.